While the provincial election is too close to call across the province, the B.C. Conservatives dominated in the southern interior. In Kelowna, three out of four ridings had a clear winner shortly after the polls closed. In a nail-biting finish, Conservative Christina Lowen declared victory in the Kelowna Centre riding, winning by just under 150 votes. B.C. NDP candidate Loyal Woldridge finished a close second. I chose to stand up, speak up and do a difficult thing. And I found that so many of you were grateful and jumped on board to help accomplish this mission. This has been a grassroots movement. And tonight, we defeated the NDP in the Okanagan. <laughs> Gavin Dew, MLA-elect for the Kelowna Mission riding, says he's feeling fantastic after winning the seat dominantly Saturday evening. I got involved because I was really, really concerned about what I saw in the economy. We've had five years of 0% private sector job growth. Government's grown by a third. We've got a $9 billion deficit, $26 billion in projected deficits. We have to get our economy back up and running because that's what pays. BC Conservative candidate Tara Armstrong won in the Kelowna Lake Country Coldstream riding. In the West Kelowna Peachland riding, BC Conservative Conservative Macklin McCall won easily. In Kamloops, incumbent Conservative MLA for the Kamloops Centre riding, Peter Millibar was named victorious, and Conservative Ward Stammer was also declared the winner for the Kamloops North Thompson riding. The two candidates in the Vernon Lumby riding both say the race is too close to call on election night. NDP incumbent Harwinder Sandu and BC Conservative Dennis Giesbrecht have yet to declare victory or concede. BC Conservative David Williams was declared MLA in the Salmon Arm Schwab riding. The NDP swept in the Nelson region. Brittany Anderson was re-elected in the Kootenai Central riding and Steve Morissette won in the Kootenai Monashi. In the South Okanagan, the Conservatives swept. Conservative Party candidate Amelia Bolby narrowly won the role of MLA for the Penticton Summerland riding. She was neck and neck with contender Tina Lee of the NDP throughout the evening. It's been such an emotional roller coaster. As you know, it was an extremely close race. So we were, it was a real nail-biter, but I'm, I'm so relieved and I'm so grateful. Dongo Wilson, Conservative, has been declared the winner in the boundary Similkameen. It's still unclear whether there will be a majority or minority government in the province, and the answer is likely to take days before it becomes clear. For Castanet News, I'm Addison Reeve in Kelowna.